Through social media, a video has emerged that would verify that Meghan Markle was never pregnant with a last baby. For her part, she would have used a surrogate and lied to all of us for a long time. The Royal Grift on YouTube has a video breakdown of their Netflix show, where, unless they're reenacting a scene, Meghan is stress drinking wine while she deals with the Daily Mail lawsuit while pregnant with Lilibet. That would indicate that Meghan hasn't been pregnant since she met Harry. Someone on Twitter today referred to a recent YouTube video by one of the popular Megxiteers, in which she says that Meghan's dad, brother and sister all claim Meghan had a hysterectomy at 28 or 29 because she had so many abortions. Samantha claimed Meghan was not truthful about what she shared about her childhood during a televised interview with Oprah in 2021, alleging that as a result she was subjected to humiliation, shame and hatred on a worldwide scale. She got caught up, she was lying about her education, that she was getting all these scholarships. Her father paid for her education for goodness sake, and she got caught within the lie. There have been rumours that Meghan told past lovers she was unable to get pregnant, and that during her first marriage they tried to conceive without success. She didn't bear either of those children, who may or may not be real. The lies, falsifications, all of that, it just seems unnecessary, and the timelines and birth math don't add up. Neither of them are clever liars, able to keep the lies straight and thus nothing makes sense. Last year, the doctor who allegedly delivered Meghan and Harry's daughter Lilibet, Diana Mountbatten-Windsor, shut down her practice. This was brought up by the Daily Mail, so what do we know about this? The doctor's name is Melissa Drake, and she catered to pregnant women in Santa Barbara. She cited her health and wanting to spend time with her family, according to an Instagram post. It's alleged that her patients are not happy to have been given little notice. There's something off about the whole thing, and many people have pointed this out. If she was leaving a practice for health reasons, she could have hired someone to step in for her until she was ready to return. Also, does anyone find it odd that no one knew who Meghan's OBGYN was until the story came out? Meghan has always said, my kids are not public property, so back off, or something like that. Not to mention, Omid Scobie and Caroline Durand wrote in Finding Freedom that a particular UK doctor oversaw Archie's birth, but the doctor's husband allegedly came out and said his wife didn't deliver Archie as she wasn't working that day. Could it be possible that Dr. Drake has some juicy secrets about Lilibet that she doesn't want to get out? The doctor's name wasn't made public at the time of Lily's birth, so first off, how do people know Dr. Drake even delivered Lily? We know that Lily's birth certificate is majorly off because a parent cannot put a foreign title on a US birth certificate. At least in California, you can't. What's more, this is similar to when Grimes and Elon Musk tried to use foreign characters on their son's certificate but couldn't so they had to alter his name slightly. Could it be possible that people started questioning whether Dr. Drake was allegedly issuing fake birth certificates, signing off on births that didn't happen? It's entirely possible, but I want to know why Dr. Drake didn't get called out when the alleged fake birth certificate was released.